Welcome to the fastest off in town. Today I'm going to set this Chagiga Dav Gimel. We are going to begin on the top of Gimel Amud Aleph, the fourth line from the top. Maishna Inyan Re'iya de Patiri, Umaishna Inyan Simcha de Mechaivi. So we said, if you have a person who is not able to hear and speak, that person is going to be putter from all mitzvos. We putter from the Re'iya, he'll be putter also from the Simcha. However, when it comes to someone who could speak but can't hear, or vice versa, so even though he's going to be potter from the din of Re'iya, he'll be chayev in Simcha. The question is why? If he's potter from one, it should be potter from both. It's going to be chayev in one, it should be chayev in both. So Gemara says like this. in your Re'iya, gamariya Re'iya hakil. The reason why he's potter from Re'iya is because we learn out also from hakil, the chsiv. That everyone is supposed to go to to hear the king, um, men, women, and little children. That they're going to come to appear. So it says that you're going to be coming um, to appear. It says the purpose of going to Hakel is so that you should hear and you should learn. Someone who is able to hear, excluding someone, is Madaber. So Madaber, obviously, is not someone... Madaber is a He can speak, but he can't hear. So he's, therefore, he's not Luman Yishmu. So therefore, such a person will be putter from Hakil. Luman Yilmadu, in order to learn, Prat L'Shamea V'Yana Madaber. Which, L'Chara, means that we're talking about a situation, someone's a Shamea V'Yana Madaber, that he's not able to learn. So just because he can't speak, he can't learn. There were these two mutes, they couldn't talk. But the Havi the Rabbi uh Rabbi Yochanan ben Gudgada. The Armula, some say it was Bene Aksa Rabbi Yochanan. Russia. Whenever Rabbi would ascend and go to the base medrash, Habi Ayli, they would come also. Viyasvi Kamayu, they used to sit right next to him. Ume Naidi Roshayu, Roshayu, they used to nod their heads. U Marchshin Savosayu, and they used to move their lips. U Boy Rabbi, U Boy Rabbi Rachmi Alayu, and Rabbi asked mercy upon them from Hashem. Viitzu, and they were cured. Nishdach the Habi Kimiri Hilchas of a Sifra of a Sifra Vikul Hashas. They knew everything. They knew all Tyra, right? They knew Sifra from Vayikra, Sifri, which is uh, from Midbar and Devar, and Bakola Shas. They knew everything. So, how could you tell me that someone who is uh, an Enush, Enumadaber, that that's Laman Yilmadu, someone who can't learn? He certainly can learn. So, how can you make an exclusion from that? So, Amar Zutra, Kari Laman Yilamedu, which means to teach. So, to teach, you need to be able to speak. So therefore, the purpose of Hakel is also to, to be able to teach. So since they're potter from Hakel, so they're also going to be potter um, based on uh, this Gzer Shav, or Iria, they're also going to be potter from Oyos Re'ia. Rav Ashi Oymer Vaday Laman Yilmedu Hu. Di Isach Adai Tachaman Yilamedu. Di Isach Adai Tachaman Yilmedu to learn. Kibandul Mishtoi Lugamar, just because they couldn't talk, they can't learn. Kibandul Shama Lugamar. And since the Shama Lugamar, you're saying because they can't hear, they can't learn. Haimu Laman Yishmu Nafka. So then you can learn that out from Laman Yishmu. Alavad Laman Yilamedu Hu. It must be it's talking about a situation, again, where the person is not able to teach. And therefore, that's the reason why um, um, th- that's the that's the issue. So in Rashi, if you can't if you can't hear, there's an ansadan you can't learn. You don't know what they're saying. Mali Maheder Suluman uh Yomadu Pratl Shemeya. The problem is so what do you do with that Pasik? The Enamadabra Kivandu Svirle the Mandal is Mishtoi Namil and Kami or Gummer, someone who can't talk also can't learn. Mulman Yishmu Mamaidle. If you can't hear, of course you can't learn. So it comes 
uh, to mean not to learn, but rather it's coming to mean not to teach. Okay. Rav Tanchin, Rav Tanchum, Cherish Be'oznoi Achos Potim in Re'iyah. So he says that not only someone, as we saw before, someone who is blind in one eye, someone who is a cherish in one ear is also part of the ear, because it says, this is question 18. Let's find this question. Two, uh, rather 20, TH20, right? Ha'im So this, again, it says, no, you're, you're going to be Potter. Because, or as you say it, Cherish part of the Gamrin and Reir Reir Mahakil Bahasim Ksiv Baaz Mi Oznehem. Because it says Oznehem by Hakil, so therefore that's the reason why you're going to be uh, part there. That was TA20. All right. So any, t- any time they're part there from Hakil, they're also going to be part there from Oz Reir too. Shneber Baaznehem. I behai bo oznehem and boy lay bo oznehem to kol yisrael. Then everyone has to hear it. Now who min neged kol yisrael nafki? You can learn that out from neged kol yisrael. So you min neged kol yisrael have a min afa gavdo lo shami. They would think even if they don't hear, because of rachman bo oznehem, but who the shami that they have to hear it. Now who lo man yishmu nafka? Fine. Rabbi Yom Tanchum. So chiger beragel v'achas patem nuriya. So if a person is blind in one eye. The person is deaf in one ear, and here it's someone's chigur baragu vachas in one leg. He's patim dreish shnemer ragolim. I have a hal ragolim eboyle prat lebali kavin. It's coming to exclude someone who has a false leg. So who mi pamim nafka? We went out from pamim, which is referring to feet. The sign of pamim in pamim el ragolim. This is referring to feet. The chenu oimer tar tarmasa regel ragli oni that the foot trampled the the foot of the poor. Pame dalim, referring to the steps of the poor. But Oimer, my yafo pamecha, how great are your steps? Benalim, bas nadiv, the daughter of princes. Doris rabba, my dixiv, my yafo pamecha, benalim, bas nadiv. What is this referring to? Common noim raglayim shal Yisrael, how beautiful are the steps of Klai Yisrael. The shah shal in loregel, that when they go in oil loregel. Bas nadiv, bito shal Avraham. Avraham, the daughter of Avraham, avinu, shnikra nadiv. Avraham was called a prince. Shnemer and the Divi Amim Nesafu Ima LK Avraham. LK Avraham, LK Yitzchak, LK Yaakov. LK Avraham, Shahayat Chila Gerim. Because he was the first one to, he was the first convert. It was very interesting. Also, Avraham, what was the, the big, one of the big Nesayonis? Lechacha. Avraham's Nesayon, one of his Nesayonis was moving, walking. So over here also we find um, that in his Chus, Connected to being oil regal, Um Rav Kahana, of course, he was oil regal. He went to Israel. Okay, Um Rav Kahana, Darish of Nasan Bar Minyoyim Mishir of Tanchum Manich Siv. What does the pasuk mean? Bahabor Rake in in Bomayim. The pit was empty by Yosef. There was no water in it. Mamash Mishnem Bahabor Rake Eni Odei Shein Bomayim. Don't we know that there's no water in it? El Mayim Einbo Abu Nachashim Akravim Yeshbo. There was no uh, water in it, but there were snakes and scorpions in it. And homiletically, we can say water, which is the lifeline of a human being, is comparable to, to Torah or something which is healthy. So if in your mind you have something in which is like Mayim, which is healthy, then you're fine. But if you remove the water, if you remove that which is healthy from your mind, it will not remain empty. Rather, Nechashim Akravim, snakes and scorpions will enter. Tanrabon, Masa, Rav Yochad, Ben Broika, Rebbe Lezer, Ben Chasmo, Shehochul, Kabul, Pnei, Rebbe Yeshua, Bikian. So they went to this place in Kabul to, to, to visit him. Ramohem, Machidish Hayyab, Beis Medrash, Hayyam. What did they learn? What happened in the Beis Medrash? So, Ramohem, Tamidcha, Anu, Umimecha, Anu, Shaisen. We are your students, we drink your waters. You must have learned something there. So Shabbos Shalmi Hoysa, whose Shabbos was it? Shabbos Shalmi Hoysa, and Azari Hoysa. Because as the Gemara in Tefillah Sashachar in the fourth parak and Brachos says that when Rebbe Lezer and Azari was the Nasi, eventually Rebbe Gamil was um, forgiven and he went back into his position, so they used to switch off. So therefore they always wanted to know what week was, who was the one who's the, the, the leader that week. 
What were they learning? So I'm a little bit partial hakil. They're learning about hakil. Ma dorish was what they learned. Hakil, so I'm a nashim, I'm a nashim, I'm a tav. I'm a nashim, boy, I'm a moi, nashim, boy, so I'm a See, men and women, they're coming for productive reasons. They're going to go to hear the learning. They're going to they're gonna hear hakil. They're going to listen to hakil. They're going to learn. Tav, lama. Boy, and what's the purpose of little kids coming? Kedei litin scharlam at the end. In order to bring reward uh, for those that bring them. And the the greatness that's brought by the Arizal is that it's in, what are you supposed to do? If everyone's going, you have to bring your kids. There's no one else to watch them. So the fact is you would bring them anyway. So therefore, it shows that the Hashem is giving us char for that. The Meshachachmas also says, um, um, because Rabbi Yeshua uh, would take his child to the base Medrash, even as an infant. So we see that this is something that was very special to him, as we're going to next see in the next line. So he says, This is a beautiful jewel, and you, you should have, why would you have, have hidden it from me? Okay. All right. Fine. So, if we look at this, uh, Taisus over here, V'yalzez samchu l'havi katan mebesach nasas. On this, we can rely on bringing kids to kids to shul. So there is value in bringing a child to synagogue, even if they're little kids, even if they're little children. Okay. V'oi darish as Hashem hi Martha hayoyim, that you would say something, said something about Hashem. Hashem hamircha hayoyim. You made me like this one not one closeness in this world. So I will do the same to you, Kal Yisrael. And we said Hashem is one. So we made him as one. And therefore Hashem will also do the same thing for us. Shnemar, as the Pasik says, as we continue to give him that Hashem says we are like goy echad ba'aretz. We are as this one special nation. Okay, um, fine. Be'af hu pasach v'darish. So he continued and made a drasha. The pasach says dibri chachamim. The words of the chachamim ikidar vaynois are just like spurs. Um, there's a pin in a in a plow in a plow. Ukimis moidois. And like nails, netuyim balei asufos that are planted by the masters of the assembly. Nos nimeroya and was given over from the shepherd. Echad, one shepherd. So lom nim shal dibrei Torah with darvon. Why is the Torah comparable to it? This darvon to this um, spur or this pin used for plowing. Why mocha ma darvon zem chiven es paro. That the purpose of this is that it guides the cow in order to be able to make the proper rose to be able to provide sustenance in the life of the world. So too, Torah guides us in the proper path to go to the to path of life. E one second, if that's the case, ma darvin zematalteil. When it comes to this pin for a plow, a plow machine, that's something which is not permanent. So after we tell him about a metaltal, and it's like metaltal, it's not permanent. Tomaloymer, misamoyris, it's like nails, which you nail it in permanently. So, e ma mismerzeh, when it comes to a nail, zechaser vizeh yaser. After we tell him, chasirin vilyasirin. So when it comes to a nail, so you put it, put it into the wall, so then all of a sudden there's a hole in the wall. Okay, fine, the nail's there, but you're causing a loss. So is that what Torah also does? No. It's like a plant. It fruits, it makes things multiply. It doesn't diminish, it grows. So too, when it comes to Torah, it's the same thing. What does it mean, those individuals that gather, um, masters of assemblies? That they come in gatherings and they learn Torah. They all say different opinions. So Shemi Yomar, a person would say, 
Miata. I hear all these different opinions. They're all one shepherd, which is Kel Echad to Hashem. Nasne Pardes Pardes Echad was gave one uh, like one leader. So Am Amru Mepi Adin Kol Hamase Bar Kol Hamayisim Baruchu Dechsev Yedam Elokim As Kol Hadavar Mu'ela Af Ata Oisa Oznacha Ki Afra Chesses You should make your ears like a funnel. The Kinolacha Lave Maven You should cause your heart to understand. With Shmoyes Divri. Metamin this divri, metarin this divri, asurin this divri, matirin this divri, poislam this divri, machshirin. Fine. So you should learn all the different things, even though it's possible it says it's hard to understand why are they say these different opinions. You should learn it all and keep your ears open to everything. Our generation is not orphaned because we have Rabbi Lezim and Azaria. So he, why, he should have told him this right away. He didn't say it right away because of the following story. So he went to visit Elazar, Rebbe Lazar, so I'm So they didn't say, they said, well, you know, you're, we're just our, your students. So for some reason, they delayed, and it's based on this because over here they didn't delay. Emily said, Nimna Begamru, we learn the following Amun Moav, Master and Meiser Oni, Bishvis. That when it comes to these locations of Amun and Moav, the din is that you could actually take off Meiser Oni on the Shemitah year, says Rashi. Says Rashi, Yeskinu Shehu Yisrael Hadarim Be'ever Hayardain. Those people who are living on the Trans Jordan, which is where Amun and Moab was on the east of the Jordan River, Master and Aksha Meiser Ani Bashvis. They would actually take off ten percent of their items on the Shemitah year. Shehin Hayu Zoyim Bashvis. They would plant on Shemitah. Kinamrin Lakaman Shul Kitshua Oil and Goyel Kedusha Saaretz. They were allowed to work. It's only in Eretz Israel there's a Din Shemitah. So they were able to plant all these different things, and they were also therefore they had to give Meiser Ani. Obviously, there's no Din of of, of Meiser. Ani in your shalim because everything is hefker. Sarmelo yoisi pashut yadecha. Take out your hand, lift up your hands, remove, open up your hands. The kibli necha and catch your eyes. Um, says Rashi. Vahaloi mi mois anshi kineses agadol haisa tekanazu. This was already masakin from a long time ago. You seem like you just you're quoting it like it's some chiddush. The kibli enov. So the kibli pashut yada the kibli enov. Bachar belazer. So Rabbi Lezer cried, V'aymer, Sayyid Hashem L'Yerav, the secrets of Hashem to those who fear you, of Rizal Ha'idim, Armul Aleich Armul Lehem, Al Techushu L'Manchem, do not <coughs> be concerned in your counting. Kach M'Kublani M'Rab Yochem Ben Zakin, Shisham Rabbi Rabbi Rabbi, Hilchaz L'Moshe Masina, Elman Amua, Master Maestro Ani Mishviyas. So again, the point is, <coughs> It's already something which is known that this is what the din was. So, Matam, why is this the reason? Why do we say that they could actually they have to take off Maiserani? After and why are they allowed to plant on Shemitah? So the Gemara says, Harbi Krachim Kivshu Oli Mitzrayim. There are many villages and cities that those who ascended from Yushal, from Mitzrayim and they went there to Israel, they conquered it. However, will Kovshim Oli Babel. They didn't conquer it when we left Bavel in the t- days of Ezra and Nehemiah to go back to the base to base uh, base of Mitzvah, the second base of Mitzvah. And that Kedusha does not exist in Am- in Amal. And therefore, since it doesn't have the Kedusha, that's the reason why that's the reason why they could plant on Shemitah. And they left this behind on purpose. Like, why not? Why didn't they make Amun of Kodesh? So that this way, Niam will be able to go there and they'll be able to survive. So, yeah, they could get the Shemitah and Shemitah in Eretz Israel, all the different stuff. It's Hefker and it may not grow well. They can go to Amun Moav, and it was deliberately done this way so that they'll be able to, to have what to eat on Shemitah. Tana. When he felt better, I mean, he wrote such talks or any yaisu and kaim in the chazu. May it be that this your eyes should go back to the original place, and they did. Tanaban, 
Is a shaita. So what is a shaita? That is potter from all mitzvos. Hayotzi yechidi b'layla. Someone who goes outside alone. Says Rashi. Ha'omer b'chol makom shepotter b'na mitzvos. Ha'omer oynish. He's not punished. Ve'en kinyan or kinyan. He can't buy things. Ve'en memchar memchar. He can't sell things. So if someone just walks around at night, which is extremely dangerous, putting yourself in such danger certainly is a sign of being a shaita. Someone in the middle of the night just decides to go to sleep in a cemetery. Of a makares ksusai, where you see someone ripping their garments. So this is all thing. These are all things in which show that there's something wrong with this person. They all have to happen. Um, it's not just one. They have to happen all at once. Rav Yochanan Mer Fiub Achzman, even one. No hechidami. Ida of the Huder Shtos. If this person did one of these things in a way which showed that he's really a shaita, I feel bechadanami. Even one should um, disqual to make him a shaita. Ida lo of the Huder Shtos. I feel kulhanami lo. If you can justify rational behavior by all these things, then these I mean, if you did all of them, it shouldn't be a shaita. No of the of the Huder Shtos. He really is derech shtos. So why isn't one enough? Because you can rationalize. Well, one, the vesek varis, emer kadei shetishra love ruach toma, who the the ka'avid. Maybe it was because he was trying to connect to ruach toma. Says Rashi, ruach shedim sheyasuhu lios machashif. He wants to be able to connect to uh, sorcery and witchcraft. So maybe that he had some motivation to to do that. Someone who went out at night, Amar Gandarifus Achde. Maybe he was uh, held on to this this illness, in which either the it, the elements are better for him outside, or because he was so sick, he had to go outside, um, and it just like it doesn't mean that he's a shaita. When Makaris Ksusi rips his garments. Amer Balmachshavosu. Maybe he's just like so busy in his thought, he didn't even realize his garments were ripped. However, Kivandi Abdul Lakulu, since he did all three, Havi Lahu, as we continue on Dalam and Aleph, that is Kamisha Nagach Shor Hamar Gamal. It's just like if a person has his three different animals uh, that were gored, the Nasamuad Lakoil. So even though you can say, as it look at Rashi and Baba Kama, the Nasamuad. The first three times, it's still a tam. You pay chatzin nezek. Afterwards, you have to pay nezek shalim. Says Rashi, "Vloim rina and hachi himud b'shloisha b'chol min v'min." That you have to actually has to attack the specific animal three times. The hoyl b'huid shloisha nigi chaisa. Since he gored three times b'shloisha minim in three different animals, ends a makbed al min echad. Afkan love boy shloisha devarim liyado b'vasachas elukul and mishem shdos. It's clear that he was doing this completely because of Shtos. And then we have perhaps a very frightening thought over here. Amra Papa, Ishmael who Rav Huna, Hadasanya, Izu If I would have been present for that, this is what I would have said. Zem Avid Koyomash and Naisinlo. Hare Havi Haderbe. So I actually would have come up with a different shot. So Shaita is that whatever you give that person, they lose it. Which again the purpose of this world, you have things, Hashem gave you certain gifts. Like, for example, Yaakov, he remembered the Pacham Katanim. He went to go for it. He went for them. So a person who has beautiful things in their life and they squander them and they waste them, which could mean they waste their money or they waste their time, that's a shaita. That's being foolish. A person who doesn't utilize the time that they have. Iboilhu ki habi haderbei me mikra hu de habi is he talking about the notion of rending, ripping the garments? Because that's comparable to like losing something. Um, why? Because the madamulho, odilma makul havi hader. Is he retracting from the other things too? Going out at night, sleeping in the cemetery. Teku on this, the gemara leaves it unresolved. Question nine. So it's comparable to a darv in this plow that it, it just like a plow, this uh, it causes this animal that the it plows in a straight line, which for sustenance. So too, that's what Tyra does. 
And the tia is that unlike a nail, a planting is something that increases and produces more. It doesn't diminish, it adds. Question 10. What was the reason why he um, gave this punishment to Rav Yossi about his, about his eyes? So it says, Rabbi Lezer, Rabbi Lezer was strict. That he basically he quoted it was done by someone, but the truth is it was already enacted way before. Okay. Um, TA. This. TA. 21. So you have to know all three of them. So one of them, as we said, let's see, this is TA21. TA21. So one is, let's find this, Ezer Shaita. So one is Hayoitza Yechidi Belayla, Belon Bevesak Varus, and Vamikares Ksusai. So those are three. And then on Dalamad Aleph, TA21, we also find another one which is Ezer Shaita is a Shaita Zem Abid Kolma Shenaisen Lai, someone who will lose anything that you give to that individual. Okay, TB22. Heim Ba'amoinu Moav Noihig Iser Shvias Umadua. So we say that it's the Kedusha Rishayin L'Kish L'Asad Lava, the Kedusha didn't stay. The Kedusha Shniya L'Kishun. K'nesh Yismuch Alehim Eniyem Mishviyas. So again, it shows the great sensitivity that was done deliberately so that the poor people will be able to have, uh, they'll be able to have what to, what to eat. This was TB22. Okay, and Rabbi Gibber's tests. Let's see if he has any more questions. Question, that was one, two, question, three, four. Cheresh medaber, ve'enu shomea, pater me'eza be'ez devarim. He's pater from, oh, he's a medaber ve'enu shomea. So he's pater from Re'ia, he's also pater from Hakel. Question six, me nikra nidiv, Avraham avinu. Question seven, lomo lo kitshu oli bubble harp, Harbi Ayaro Shikitshim Oyu Mitzrayim. The Kedusha only was for Mitzrayim time, but not now, and they wanted to leave it over so the poor will have to eat, uh, have that to eat on Shvias. Lomayish Meat Lomayat Tumtum Maria Adkan. 